are in vacation mode. We are parked and walking into the Grand Floridian. Hype man here. What's up, Jack? What's up? What do you got to say, buddy? Like and subscribe to Colorado Family Travels. That's my hype man. I love him. This is the Grand Floridian DVC Tower, but we are not staying on the DVC Tower side this time. We are staying at the converted room. DVC Tower. So there is a check-in desk in the DVC tower. So we're gonna go in and make sure that our dining plan and everything is active. As our room is not ready yet, it is just after 10.30, but Disney Vacation Club. Disney's Grand Floridian. I said California earlier. Beautiful lobby. We've stayed in Grand Floridian DVC Tower quite a few times. Really enjoy this hotel, but first time staying over in the new converted tower. Love just the theme. Beautiful in here. Got to love it. So beautiful at the Grand Cafe. Floridian. If I say California one more time. The pool. Beautiful beach. Pool has a great water slide. Love that slide. The last time we were here, the pool's heater was out, so it wasn't heated. It was so cold. We ended up going over to the, the other pool, the hotel pool. This is considered the feature pool. Boats out on the water. Oh, there goes the Magic Kingdom ferry boat over there, off in the distance. Fire pit, they have s'mores here in the evening sometimes. And the aquatic play area. And the Grand Floridian is themed to the Mad Hatter, so it's the tea party. pot up top filling up the teacups and the Mad Hatter's hat every 15 minutes or so tips over spills water on everybody so beautiful walking inside the main building the Grand Floridian it looks like a photo shoot going on over here so for a wedding, everyone's all dressed up. Purdy. The main lobby area. The bird cage elevator. It is March 14th. And they have the Easter. So I'm set up in the lobby. Take a look at that. Smack dab in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful rock. The grand cottage in the middle. Easter eggs.
rotating Beauty and the Beast. That was really cool. I have seen these online previously, and this is definitely one of my favorites. Isma Kitty. I love that. Is that my voice? <laughs> Disney Park snacks. That is cute. This is so intricate. Alice in Wonderland, White Rabbit, and all the interior clock workings. Is so awesome. This is all the signs to tell you the chef that made it, and then stuff about how they made it and why they did it this way. I missed the Kakamoras, that's really cool. And then over here on the side is James and the Giant Peach. That's pretty cool. James and the Giant Peach. The menu for the Grand Cottage, all the things you can buy inside. No discounts applied. Just off the Grand Floridian Lobby are the restrooms. Used to be the entrance to the restaurant here. Now there's a really nice water bottle or floating station over here. That's very nice. 1900 Park Fair. So on the other side near the restrooms over there, 1900 Park Fair was that really nice water bottle floating station. Going into Gasparilla Island Grill to pick up our dining plan mugs. This is their quick service restaurant. You can mobile order, which is really nice. We'll definitely be eating here later, but. So we picked out our mugs. There was four different colors. So we got one of each. And now they're taking us to the front to activate, but very quickly, all the drinks and snacks inside. Again, we'll cover this more later. Refillable mug has been obtained and taken off our dining plan. It is active for about 15 days. Nice lid on top. I like these little pop lids. It is off and it is sealed on top. So it's kind of held back. That's nice. First drink, let's see how it goes. Nice drinking top. That was really nice. Very convenient. And just flip the lid closed again. Hard to do with one hand. All right, so it's closed. Did we do the leak test? Let's try the leak test. Dairy Queen style. Hey, leak test, not leaking. I like it. Done with our drinks and drink tests back in the main building. Going up to the second floor because we're going to take the monorail to the Magic Kingdom. Up on the second floor is a basin to get your soaps and the mercantile store. For all your Disney shopping needs. But we are heading to the monorail. We'll turn this off for security. Temporary way off in the distance there with BLT right next to it. 
Polynesian will show up in the distance. All sitting on Bailey. Kingdom, just a short monorail ride away from the Grand Floridian. All the guest entrances, and then one special entrance down at the end. Brand new pass holders, but it's not that busy right now, so we're gonna go on the regular entrance. Activate our pass for the next 365 days. Super excited. We have entered into the Magic Kingdom. We have used our fingers for identification. Jackson, did you use the right finger this time? Yep. First thing we're doing is doing a popcorn refill inside the Magic Kingdom. We got our three popcorn buckets. It's time for lunch. Yes, we do bring our popcorn buckets back with us. We travel with them. We've got our bags. You know, so I've got my bag on my shoulder. This is a safety bag that I'm traveling uh, with to test out for an upcoming trip over to Rome, Italy. So I'm gonna test and see how it works at Disney, see if it's good. We got carabiner hooks on them. So I've got my refillable mug from Grand Floridian attached to mine. And everyone else has got their popcorn buckets and their mugs connected to theirs. So Jordan, a teenager, now has popcorn. Is Jordan happy? Is Jordan always happy when she has popcorn? Is Jordan not happy when she doesn't have popcorn? Are we happy to have popcorn? Bye, Jordan. We got our popcorn. Now we're heading down middle of Main Street. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'd have the confidence to do that with my baby. Going down the middle of Main Street looking for a photo pass photographer. Get our first picture. Oh, happy to be back. With that for fans, I saw we're going to continue on now with another song. It's actually a romantic tune entitled, How Can I Miss You If You Won't Go Away? <laughs> I want you to sing to me all the time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and following that uh, song, we're going to sing one of my favorite numbers, Speaking of the Pod Show, honey, I want to get you alone. Thank <laughs> you. There's at least some interest on that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that would measure it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it went right over their heads. So we were about to walk back to the train station to catch the train. We see everyone sitting down on Main Street. And we're like, what is everyone sitting down for? It's like 1140. It's because the parade's coming. The Fantasy Festival Parade is on its way here in about 10 minutes. So we just took a spot on Main Street USA right across from the Emporium. We're sitting next to a trash can. Got plenty of room. And I'm just going to hang out and watch the parade. Here comes the band for the start of the parade.
celebration in the streets. Our Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade to the Magic Kingdom. In just a few minutes, we will come to present an intended celebration in the streets. Our Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade. But first, please welcome our honorary Grand Marshals, Heidi, Lyric, Sarah, and Cora from Dallas, Texas. Family goals, someday we will be Grand Marshals.
great place to get a picture. Right down the middle of Main Street, USA from the elevator position. We have loaded the train, we are shoved in one row. Grand Circle Tour of the Magic Kingdom. With stops along the way in Frontierland and Fantasyland. Sit tight and keep your hands, arms, feet and legs well inside the train. We're currently departing Main Street Station. And if you're missing those friendly faces already, not to worry. On this train, it's never goodbye. It's always see you real soon. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado. Please make sure your arms are all the way inside the train, not wrapped around those orange posts, and make sure your legs are all the way inside. They should not be going past those orange posts either. Thank you. Parts. Dreams really do come true. See, there was a time not so long ago that I was just a young fella on Main Street with a balloon in my hand and a wish in my heart that someday I'd be the conductor of this train. And wouldn't you know it? With a bit of gumption and a dash of magic, here I am. So believe it when I say that around here, anything is possible. See what I mean? Hope you packed a compass because that, folks, is the sound of adventure. Uh, adventure land, I should say. Whether navigating wild jungle rivers, swashbuckling with jolly buccaneers, or even just scaling a towering treehouse, there's always plenty to explore here in Adventure Land. If you're more the rootin' tootin' type, then partner, saddle up, cause this here's Frontierland. Home to cowpokes, campfires, and country bears, this outpost is chock full of tall tails and an even taller mountain. We call it Big Thunder. Catch a ride on its runaway trains and you'll see why. On a more musical note, just ahead I heard some new critters are moving in and looking to make a splash. Take a listen, we're almost there. We've reached Frontierland Station, everyone, so sit tight and hold those horses until we come to a complete stop. If you're disembarking, please carry your strollers all the way off the platform before unfolding them. That'll help make room for any new buckaroos. Watch a step now. This is Frontierland Station. Howdy, friends. As we arrive into the station, please remain seated. We are done with our train ride. I had some technical difficulties, so I had to put away the gimbal. So hopefully it's not too shaky as I walk around. But we are done at the Magic Kingdom. We are gonna take the monorail over to the Contemporary. We're gonna have lunch at Contempo Cafe. Welcome to the Contemporary. Getting off the monorail. Famous mountain goat. <laughs> on temporary, I think we're on the third floor or fourth floor. I never remember. 
But you've got Chef Mickey's up here. you got Contempo Cafe, Outer Rim, which is a bar. BVG is one of our favorite gift shops. Always find some really good stuff in BVG. And then the Fantasia gift shop in the middle. When you go to the monorail, you do have to go through security. So you got to go through a security screening to take the monorail. Restrooms back. You don't need to be security screened to go to the restrooms. Right. Walk around BVG real quick. So really cool. We were at, of course, Magic Kingdom. Looking around at the shops over there. And saw a couple things. But it's really cool. I'll look and see if I can't find one here. So interesting enough, these are the shirts that are available at BVG. So this shirt, this gray shirt here, at the Emporium at Magic Kingdom, they had it up to 4X. First time I'd ever seen a shirt at Disney World available at 4X. I've seen 3X every once in a while in a couple designs, but a 4X shirt, Hard to find. Heading into the Contempo Cafe for lunch after walking around the gift shops for a second. Take a quick view of the menu. Four cheese. Lots of really good options. Flatbreads and num num cookies. So again, you can mobile order. some baked goods over here. They always have really good baked goods, so. It's really good, I like that cinnamon roll. Their St. Patrick's Day special is the day pot of gold cookie. That looks good. Well, I got a bunch of mine to close down, so. Inside the cold case, got your Alcoholic drinks, beer and wine. You got salads and more. There is soft serve ice cream as a snack credit. And then your frozen snacks. This is the Italian roast beef sub. It came with an au jus. It was super good, that au jus. And some uh, spicy jalapeno pickles. And this was the carnivore pizza. We are already back at the Grand Floridian. Another artist, Mickey Mouse, kind of hanging out. Just dropped off the car and bought the luggage. Let's go do a room tour. Just a second, but I'm gonna catch artist at work here. This is really cool. Custodial character arts. I like it. Thank you. Ah, uh, who do we have here? Who do you think it is? Say it in the comments below. Who do you think that is? Awesome job. Thank you. Very cool. This is a room tour of room 9123. And this is a resort studio with a lagoon view. And as soon as you walk in, got a big entryway, a big table here that you, there's a bench there. So you could possibly use this as a vanity. I believe there is coffee. Oh no, that is the blow dryer in there. And then directly to my right is the restroom. So we've got two sinks there, plenty of counter space. All the towels are down there. And then we've got the shower tub in here as well as the toilet. So these rooms do not have the split bath like the regular DBC rooms do. Looks like there's a connecting door. We've got a dresser here. We have two queen beds. And then this bed, I believe, pulls out as well. I can see the strap for it there. And since we have a lagoon view, we are on the first floor, but we have a beautiful view of the Polynesian and the construction. <laughs> and then those are the other DVC rooms right there. And coming around this way, open up the closets here so there's a large closet here 
with extra bedding, two robes, and a broom and dustpan, which is nice. And then in here we have the room safe and a steamer. And then coming back around, here's the sm somewhat kitchen area. So they have a Cuisinart right there and a microwave and a refrigerator here. It looks to be possibly just a beverage cooler since it's got the clear door. And then in here, we've got all these wonderful things of coffee. And they have some real glasses and mugs right there, but the rest of these are all the recyclable ones. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed while I film, but this is the couch bed that's in the resort studios. And you pull on this really hard. It's very heavy, but it flips over into a twin size bed. And this is pretty long. I mean, it's a standard size couch. So I think it would fit someone pretty well. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning in Florida. Bright, sunny, sun in the sky. Need to start doing uh, daily wrap ups at night. So the next morning. <laughs> We finished yesterday with a lot of time in the pool. Just enjoyed. Yesterday was the bonus day, so just time in the pool. Right, that pool right there. Um, this duck's just chilling in the pool. It's hot. I know. I'd be out here, too. Had some great time there. And then uh, went off-site. Picked up some stuff for the room at Target. Had dinner at Portillo's. Loved their french fries and cheese sauce. And got the Italian sausage? No, Polish sausage. I got the Polish sausage. Everyone else got a couple different items. So this up. Uh, Portillo's is rumored to be coming to Colorado. So that'll be nice. And uh, really love their chocolate cake. <laughs> Uh, they make it in-house. They serve it a little bit different now. They used to just take it right off the tray and cut it for you. Now they uh, pre-package it. We did see him cutting the uh, lemon cake and packaging it. So it's still baked right there and packaged right there. So that was kind of cool. But And then just went back to the room, hung out, got everything kind of organized and ready. We are at the Grand Floridian um, for a couple days. I think one more day. I think we check out tomorrow and then move on. But so that wraps up our bonus day. Final total looked like 18.5 inches back home in Colorado, 18.5 inches at the house. Um, our flight did end up actually making it out on time, landed about 45 minutes late is they had to avoid some uh, weather in Kansas. But uh, we're happy we made it out safe and didn't have to worry about travel and driving in 18.5 inches of snow, unburying our car and all that good stuff. So we will go ahead and close down the bonus day two, I think is what I was calling it. And we will start up our next day. Thanks for watching everybody. Now for us, it's back to the rat race. Coming next time on Colorado Family Travels. Thanks, Jack. And now we head into day three or day one of our adventures. We head back to the Magic Kingdom. We're actually going to do some rides this day as we didn't do any rides the day before and just watch the parade as you saw. Now we're going to head in and do some rides, hang out. We also have a lunch reservation at Crystal Palace where we meet up with Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, all of our 100 acre wood friends and have a great buffet lunch at Crystal Palace. Then we continue on with our adventures, head over to Epcot, where we spend the night at the Flower Garden Festival, enjoying as many booths as we possibly can, and just had a general fun day before we close down and head back to the resort just to relax. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come back and see us again next time. Now for us, it's back to the rat race.